What do you think of this beautiful job that the Boy Scouts and outstanding old people, young people, put out the flags? Beautiful, isn't it? Wait till tomorrow and come and look at it. It's sad. But anyhow, Mr. Jobs, I wish you to come up here and and I'm going to bring him on, but uh, all stand, please. Ones that can't stand, sit down. Join me in saluting the colors. One, two. Good morning, all of you, and thank you for coming. But first, I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like to thank everyone who helped put this ceremony together. Thanks to the scout leaders, Brian Dodson, Mark Guy, and their scouts. Donnie McKay and our new head football coach, members of the VFW Auxiliary, Robert Evans of the American Legion, and the many others who came out to help. We wouldn't have gotten it done without you, so thank you again for your support and your participation. As you know, Vernon Long is stepping down after some 16 years as the VFW Post 539 Commander. Through the years, he's given freely of his time to keep the post running. He's worked with our service officer to provide families in need with medical equipment such as hospital beds, wheelchairs, walkers, and crutches. He has fre frequently donated his own money to help the needy families. It's time that Vernon took a break, so I'll be officially relieving him as post commander in early June. So to you, comrade commander, you held down the fort for a long time. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you for your support of our veterans and their families. Thank you for your support of our community. Go ahead. We have met here for our annual Memorial Day service since May of 1868 been a day of remembrance for those who fought and died at sea, in the air, and on battlefields in the defense of our country, and to ensure the freedom of nations around the world. Their heroic actions have kept America, the land of the free, and the envy of the world for over two centuries. Society tends to take this freedom for granted, but freedom wasn't granted and it hasn't been free. It was won and has been preserved by the countless Americans, generation after generation, who stood ready to do whatever was necessary to ensure the survival of our nation. So today we pay tribute to our military heroes who defended these liberties and the way of life that we enjoy today. More than 48 million Americans have served in our country's military since 1776. Whether they served in time of peace or war, they've shared a common set of beliefs. Their belief in democracy, human dignity, and an individual's God-given right to freedom. From the patriots of the American Revolution to the men and women of today's armed forces, America, America's military has always responded to our nation's call to duty. Both on the battlefield and in their continual state of readiness, they remain our surest guarantee that we will forever remain a land of democracy and freedom. The men and women who fought America's battles, those who served our country in support of the military, have made significant sacrifices to ensure the freedom and liberty that we as a nation enjoy today. It's important that we remember those who gave their lives and those who today bear the physical and psychological scars suffered as a result of their unselfish actions. Take a moment to consider the level of courage and commitment to country and comrade that is necessary to voluntarily put your life at risk in combat. Consider the World War II bomber crews who flew mission after mission from England into Germany. 
They were eligible for relief after 25 missions, but their life expectancy was less than 20. Consider the Army infantry who went ashore at Normandy, then faced months of continuous frontline combat. The Marines who went ashore time after time on enemy-held islands in the Pacific. The Navy submarine crews who went on patrol after patrol with a survival rate of less than 40 percent. Consider the bitter cold fighting against the North Korean and Chinese troops in Korea. The jungle fighting in Vietnam and the daily patrols in Iraq and Afghanistan living with the knowledge that a roadside IED may be just ahead. It's important that we think on these things so that we can fully appreciate the psychological, physical sacrifices our military has endured throughout the history of our nation. Our country owes an unpayable debt to these heroes. We owe them our democratic way of life and our freedom to live, work, and raise families in this wonderful country that we call America. The men of Southern Okmulgee County have paid a heavy price in the defense of our country. There are 176 names on the two plaques placed beneath our Doughboy statue identifying men from our community who have been killed in action. They gave their lives preserving our peace and freedom. They sacrificed their hopes and dreams of the day. They sacrificed all of their tomorrows. To these brave warriors, we owe our internal gratitude. So on this Memorial Day, take a moment to reflect on just what has been given and what an enormous price has been paid so that freedom can ring across this great land. Let us pause with respect and honor on this Memorial Day to remember those who fought, for those who gave their lives, and for those who stand ready today to answer when the defense of our nation calls. Your presence here today is a tribute to these fallen heroes and their families. It is our way of saying we will always remember the sacrifice they made to ensure our freedom and that they will never be forgotten. May God bless these brave warriors who rest in this cemetery and in cemeteries across our nation and around the world. They are truly our nation's greatest heroes. And may God bless each of you for attending and may God bless America. Uh, you heard uh, Comrade Bill Goodner uh, talk about the deeds and everything. These combat soldiers that are around us today, I know of Richard, uh, you're over there somewhere. In behind. Richard, would you stand? Would you like to have something to say? Richard Darney. Yeah. Would you like to have something to say, Richard? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Richard, for your service. Comrades, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell part. Combat soldier sheds a lot of tears. He'll never tell you, but he sheds a lot of tears. I'll just tell you part of my trip to the Philippines. There were 390 of us. There were just 28 of us left on Okinawa when it was all over. You have orders. If anybody, Jap, laying there on the ground, finish him off, get him. Because he can come up behind you and kill you. And I was on this mission to Kadena Air Force Base. When I run across this Jap was laying on his side, crumpled up, and he moved. Our orders. And you combat soldiers know this, is to grab him as quick as you can and stick 
a pistol in his head and shoot him. That is Army, that's Navy, that's Marines. Everybody's got that order. I done that. I fell on him, had a Colt 45 to his ear, and he was pulling his hand out of the, his shirt pocket. And it was a picture, a picture of his family. It was a beautiful wife, a son, and a girl. And his last words, I didn't have to shoot him, his last words was Yokohama. Well, I'd never heard of Yokohama. And so anyhow, when we finally got off that island 16 months later, the ship come in to pick us up. And I said, well, where are we going? We going home? They said, no, you're going to Yokohama, Japan. I said, Yokohama, I had that picture and I showed him. He said, when we get to Yokohama, you take that to the Red Cross and the uh, all service that's in uh, Yokohama. And so I did. And this year one officer, he spoke Japanese and English. He said, we'll take this to the embassy and we'll find out who the family is. He came back and he said, you need to go with us and see the family. I said, I'm not going. And he said, yes, you are. And I went, comrades, ladies and gentlemen. That was the nicest family I ever met in my life. They praised me. They gave me my wife-to-be and my mother a silk kimono that had all the beautiful designs you've ever saw. And now, there's love in every nation. And so I just had to tell you that, because just the second I would have pulled the trigger, and I had to, you was under orders. And you combat soldiers knows that. But anyhow, I appreciate you all being here. And uh, we got our senior vice, junior vice, Officers Day, Ladies Auxiliaries, they're all here. They fixed lunch for the flag people yesterday, done an excellent job. And so we'll go on into our ceremony. And uh, as, <coughs> as long as two comrades survive, so long will the veterans of foreign wars of the United States render tribute tribute to our heroic dead. <coughs> Comrade, attention, on this day, forever conceded to our heroic dead, we are assembly once again to express sincere reference that this grave represents the resting place of many departed comrades who served in all wars. Wherever the body of a comrade lies, there in the ground is a hollowed out presence here in this Solomon commemoration of all these men, an expression of our tribute to their devotion, to duty, to their uh, courage and patriotism by their service on land, on sea, and in the air. They have made us the, their debtors. For the flag of our great nation flies over a land of the free people. Father of all, in the depth of our silence, we, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the light. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us be faithful unto thee and to the other. Look in mercy on the widows and children of our departed comrades. We beseech thee, thee and with thine own tenderness, console and comfort those who are bereaved. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. Though thy favor may we need, meet at last before the throne in heaven we praise the great name forever and ever okay uh come on senior uh, vice commanders 
Will you place the, your reef on the, uh, the tomb? your vice commanders I place this symbol of purity on the comrade's grave may each future generation humiliate the unselfish courage of all men and women who fought for freedom Of the day, would you please place your flower in memory of the heroic dead who have fallen in defense of, of the United States of America? I pay this tribute to our devoted, everlasting remembrance. Ladies Auxiliary, on behalf of the Lazy Dog Delivery, Veterans of Foreign Wars and American Legions of the United States, I place this emblem in eternity, its color beseeks life everlasting. This do we immortalize the brave deeds of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who have given their lives on land, on sea, and in the air. Comrade Commanders, Comrades in the silent land beyond, Wherever your mortals remain, we rest. These solemn services we hold in tribute to you. Attention, all rise that can rise. Buglers, go ahead. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.